Hey guys, we are continuing Legend of Kura book for Balance Chapter 4, The Calling. So where are we at right now? Kura has been training with Toph. Toph told us that we still have metal poison in our blood. Uh, our, her. But Kura has still metal poison in her blood, so she needs to remove that somehow. Which is probably all a big metaphor when it comes to Kura not forgiving herself and such. So I am quite eager to continue. Uh, we have some sort of uh, almost like a civil war going on. There are two sides to this conflict. Very interesting politics wise. Kuvira and then uh, Wu, Prince Wu, who's been a bit douchey, but wow. Well, so, um, that's not the way to like get rid of a ruler, right? By using military strength and just claiming that uh, she's in charge now. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Let's let's um, yeah, let's dive right into it. Then. Tenzin, are you sure you can't go with them? Raiko asked me to stay here and help figure out a diplomatic solution to this Kuvira problem. We'll be fine. Grandpa Aang and his friends were around our age when they traveled the world. Well, at least That's they won't true. have to worry about you starving out there. We're going to be in the wild, living off the land. But I made your favorite tree. Sweet buns with happy faces on them? I guess we're not officially on the road yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one is smudged. I can't eat this. I can't say that I like him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you able to get a read on Korra yet? No, but once we're further out, I'll be able to hone in on her spiritual energy. Remember, Jinor is in charge. I answer to no man or girl, even if she does have tattoos. Milo. Pepper, yip yip. Yeah, you go then. <laughs> oh no, we're going with them. Finally, I've been holding my pee for an hour. So many spirits on the roof. If you get through to Cora, tell her I said hi. Do you feel anything yet? <laughs> What's taking so long? I can't concentrate if you keep talking. Jinora's spirity powers are broken and she doesn't know where Cora is. My powers are not broken. Oh my god. I just need more than two seconds. While you try to pull yourself together, Pokey and I are going to go into town and find out if anyone's seen Cora. You can hold the picture of Cora I drew. I didn't know you could draw. You don't know a lot of things about me, sister. Let's roll. He really drew that? Yeah, that's the first interesting thing about him. <laughs> He's gonna be an artist. Oh. Have you seen this woman? Well, aren't you an adorable little thing? I'm not adorable. I'm dangerous. Dangerously cute with those cheeks. This never happened. Let's play. Lovely shot. The Avatar? We still have one of those? I haven't seen her, kid. So oh. They sort of remind me of um the tripper they were Can looking I for. Trust you? I guess so. The Horcruxes. Hor hmm, top secret mission to find the Avatar. Harry Potter. Have you seen her? I haven't. Sorry. Top secret mission, huh? It's been pretty dangerous. Stop I've telling seen people. Some things. What kind of things? Crazy things. <laughs> what should I call you other than beautiful? I'm Tuyin. Ooh, Mila found a girlfriend. Go away, Iki. We're moving on. Looks like you gotta get back to your mission. Good luck, Milo. Thanks a lot, Iki. You drove away the love of my life. Right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Be a beautiful beach. Jinor, Iki, it's Korra! It's just a photo of Korra. At least it's something. She came by here about uh, six months ago. Oh. Looks like someone just drummed up a good old-fashioned deed. I remember that. Then where did she go? Oh, I don't know, but she wasn't looking too good. Iki, oh. this is all your fault. I didn't do anything. Exactly. You need to start pulling your weight. That goes for you too, so-called leader. Remember when he used to be so nice and sweet? At least he cares for Cora, you know. What's the plan for today? We didn't do anything yesterday or the day before that. Tell me the story about how you taught Aang to Earthbend. I threw some rocks at the Avatar, he got all whiny, and Sokka fell in a hole. I thought there'd be more to it than that. Uh, what about the time you guys took down the Fire Lord? Yeah. It was hot. I was on a blimp. And I think a giant turtle showed up. What a day. <laughs> okay, you're terrible at telling stories. You're terrible at listening to them. Be a mood. Look at her. Quit making all that racket. <laughs> if you're so antsy to do something, why don't you go and collect some mushrooms for dinner? Take the path till you see the boulder with a hole in it. Oh, and make sure you get the big slimy ones. <laughs> They're the tastiest. Where's all the food mom gave us? I threw it in the river. You did what? what? Hey, keep it down. Yeah, keep it down, Iggy. Milo threw away all our food. 
we hunt for our meals. We're vegetarians. We don't hunt. Enough <laughs> whining. Pokey and I will go find some grub. <laughs> My name's Milo. I like to throw away food and fart in appropriate moments. I'm Janora. I'm so above it all because I'm meditating all the time. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Oh. You dropped your breakfast. Oh. 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 <laughs> Does this mean we're friends? You're trespassing. Hold it right there. Oh no. Tell us what you're doing in the Earth Empire. Are you spying? I swear oh. I'm not a spy. I've been traveling with my brother and sister. It's our first big mission and my dad Tenzin is counting on us. But if we don't find the Avatar, he's going to be really disappointed. <laughs> Can she I was... talk to you for a second? She was really truthful. <laughs> I'm surprised. This girl is Tenzin's kid and she's looking for the Avatar. If we capture these three airbender kids and bring them to Kuvira, I bet we get a big time promotion. You mean we'd get out of this dump? Uh, sorry, little lady. It looks like we got off on the wrong foot. Where's your campsite? Why do you want to know? Uh, we just want to get the family back together again. But maybe we could sit everybody down and have a nice plate of macaroons. I found a whole sack of food down by the river. And with each delicious snack comes a lovely handwritten note. You're my handsome little man. That is Aww. so touching. That's our sack of food! Where are your brother and sister? I don't want to see them. I'd rather hang out here with you guys. Maybe with one of those macaroons. I think she's too smart for that, right? She's just tricking them. Or she doesn't allow for them to trick her. Oh, is this like a Luke Skywalker type of a quest? Surely it looks like it. Or like Simba when he was facing his father in the Lion King. She has been through so much, like, really cool that they're actually presenting trauma, like, in, in Avatar, I don't think they presented trauma as much, even after difficult situations, maybe, um, Are you okay? Zuko yep, did? totally fine. I hope you're hungry, because we found some... <laughs> we found some berries. Looks good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Looks like you got some bad berries. So much for living off the land. <laughs> They're fine. I just ate too many. So delicious. Did you run into Iki while you were picking your poisonous berries? Did she run off or something? I think so. Now I gotta go find the Avatar and her. This mission is getting worse by the day. I thought we were doing this as a family. It seems pretty lonely out here. Where is everybody else? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, he's just upset because Kuvira is taking all the troops to Zalfu and we had to stay here. It's tough to be left out, huh? I know exactly what you're going through. My brother and sister are always leaving me out of fun stuff. They're I mean, bonding. We're supposed to be looking for the Avatar together. Well, that's not fair. Maybe we can help you out. <laughs> oh, she's so, so smart. Where have you looked for her? We've been traveling down the West Coast. Well, we have troops pretty much everywhere. If anyone saw her, they would have reported it. What about this place? They're actually the nice people. Small. No one goes there. Oh. Don't get discouraged, Iki. You're a valuable member of the team and you have a big heart. I know oh. you're going to find her. Now let's get you out of those ropes. Look at them. Oh. No, they're friends. You're welcome, Iki. Why did you do that? We're saving you. Let's go. I had everything under control. I just found our food and I have an idea where Cora is. Then let's get going. Hold on. Sorry my brother and sister knocked you out. What about the Macaroon. squirrel friend? Not coming? Oh, he's coming! Yay! Also in the Witcher books, there was a moment. You got my dinner yet? The swamp. It did crazy things to my mind. I had visions. Yeah, I figured something like that might happen. You wanted me to see those visions? I know you want to get better. And so does the swamp. It can sense you're out of balance. It'll teach you what you need to learn. If you're open to listening. Okay, Swamp. I'm all ears. You said you saw your past enemies. Now, why do you think that is? Because they've made me and a lot of other people suffer. Sounds like you're carrying around your former enemies, the same way you're still carrying around that metal poison. You ever consider maybe you could learn something from them? Sounds like the Swamp's messing with your mind, too. My mind is just fine, thank you. 
Didamon want? Equality for all. Unalak, he brought back the spirits. And oh. Zaheer believed in freedom. Yes. I guess. The problem was those guys were totally out of balance and they took their ideologies too far. Okay, yeah. well, fine. Tough is so that doesn't smart. explain why they keep haunting me. Because you need to face your fears. You can't expect to deal with future enemies if you're still fighting the old ones. How am I supposed to move on? Boy, you avatars sure need a lot of hand-holding. <laughs> Get up, we're going to the Banyan Grove tree. Yeah, in The Witcher, Ciri spent quite some time around the swamps, also hiding. Also Who's swamps were- There weren't any troops here, and I figure if Laura's not feeling good, she might come to a spiritual place like this to get better. See? She's smart. She's my favorite, um, Denzin kid right now. Then Jandura, then nothing for a there long time, an and then him. <laughs> spiritual activity here, but I don't feel Korra. That's what we get for listening to Iki. We just got here. Let's at least look around. I'm sorry, Iki, but I'm with Milo on this. I don't think we're going to find her here. <laughs> Whoops. Are you kidding me? Why did those stupid vines pull us in here anyway? Because they want us here. I'm telling you, Korra's got to be close. I still don't sense Korra. You haven't sensed her the entire time we've been looking for her. Yeah. The next time I go on a mission, it's going to be boys only. It's beautiful. The roots of the Banyan Grove tree spread out for miles in every direction, connecting this whole swamp. Your problem is you've been disconnected for too long. Disconnected from the people who love you. Disconnected from yourself. Cora, I know where Cora is. Now you know. Yeah! I saw Janora, Iki, and Milo. They're here. Hopefully, they're here to take you home. Yes, finally. Four episodes in. I hope Janora doesn't take the credit for finding her, because it was all icky, you know? Oh, we missed you so much, Cora. I missed you so much, too. How did you find me all the way out here? Janora sensed your energy. But we never would have been here if it weren't for Iki. No. I never would have stormed off and found those soldiers if it weren't for Milo. Right. I'm just trying to toughen up these ladies. I guess it was a team effort. I love your hair. It's so you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. This is Milo, Janora, and Iki, Aang and Katara's grandchildren. Your grandpa was a real pain in my <laughs> butt. Cranky, old, blind? You must be tough! Oh, I like this one. <laughs> you need to come home, Korra. Kuvira is taking over the Earth Kingdom. I'm not the Avatar I used to be. I can't even go into the Avatar state. The world needs you back. All right, I'm ready. I'm not bending it out of you. You've got to do this on your own. Close your eyes. And don't freak out like last time. Focus your energy. Find the metal. Let it move through your body. She's gonna metal bend herself. That fight is over. Release the fear. so much lighter. Thank you so much for helping me. I'd like to give you a hug now, if that's okay with you. Oh, it's right. a <laughs> You earned it. Bye, Bye Tom! See you later! It was so nice to meet you! Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh, I know she likes it, but it feels sad to be left alone in there. Right. Oh, we spent the majority of that episode with Tenzin's kids. And Tenzin's kids are like my least favorite characters that the entire show. Especially Milo, like with the fart jokes. I really, I don't like it. But it's fine because it's such a small part of the show that it doesn't really influence my overall view on it. I'm just happy that Iki got the credit that she deserved. But overall, I don't really care as much. I'm happy that Korra's going back home, that she got rid of that poison. And now, I guess, I suppose, we are getting into that real actual 
digital business. So I am excited to continue. Uh, that was episode four. So yeah, oh, that's that's going by fast. At this point, I have only posted episode one. So yeah, I think I really need to like start editing faster and post more episodes so we can continue, so we can continue. Thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.